Subtraction from 10 or less. We're going to subtract it cross or down. This is lesson 2.9. We can write equations, those are number problems, across or down. We can draw a picture to show the problem. Then we can write the equation two different ways. There are five bees in a hive. Two bees fly away. How many bees are still in the hive? We can make five circles for the five bees. One, two, three, four, five. We can draw a circle and around and cross out two of them that are flying away. When we write it across, we write five minus two is equal to three. There's three bees left. We can also write it going down. Five minus two is equal to three. We can write the subtraction problem across and down. We count how many dots are in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine dots in all. How many are crossed out? One, two, three. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five, six. We can also write it going down. Nine minus three is equal to six. We count how many dots there are in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two of them are crossed out. One, two. That's how many are being taken away. How many are left? One, two, three, four, five. Seven minus two is equal to five. We can write it going down. Seven minus two is equal to five. How does the picture show the subtraction? The number taken away is crossed out. The amount that's taken away has been crossed out. That's how we know the picture is showing subtraction. We can write the difference. Three, take away one. We can make three dots. We can take away one. There's one, two left. Four, take away four. Remember, when you take away all, it equals zero. Two, take away zero. When you subtract zero, the number stays the same, so it's just two. Six minus four, we can make six dots. We can take four away. How many are left? One, two. Ten minus two, we can make ten dots. We can take two away. Count how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Five, take away one. We can make five dots. We can cross one out. That leaves one, two, three, four. Seven minus four, we can make seven dots. We can take four away. And that leaves one, two, three. Three minus three, when we take all away, the answer is zero. Five minus five, when we take all away, the answer is zero. Eight minus two, we can make eight dots. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can take away two. Count how many are left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ten minus five, 
we can make 10 dots. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We can take 5 away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be these. Count how many are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We can have 4 and take 3 away. 1, 2, 3, 4. Take away 3. That leaves 1. We can have 9 and minus 0. When we subtract 0 from a number, the number stays the same. 6 minus 2 makes 6 dots. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Take 2 away. How many are left? 1, 2, 3, 4. 6 minus 2 is equal to 4. 8 minus 0. When we take 0 away, the number stays the same. 10 minus 10. We're taking all away, so the answer is zero. Why are some numbers easier to subtract? Well, zero and all are easier because we take away none for zero. If we are subtracting zero, the number stays the same. And when we take away all, the answer is zero. So those are easy ones to subtract, aren't they? The other ones, we might have to use counters. But some of them are easy because the answer is either going to be the same number or the answer is going to be zero if we take them all away. We can write all of the subtraction sentences that can tell the story. Tim has five cookies. He eats more than one cookie. He has more than one cookie left. How many cookies are left? So we might have to read this again to be careful. It says that he has five cookies. So we know he has five cookies, right? He eats more than one cookie. So what we can do is we can draw the cookies to help write the subtraction equations. If he eats more than one cookie, then he can eat two. That's more than one. He has more than one cookie left. Well, there's three left. Is that more than one? Yes. So we can do five minus two that he ate, and it's going to equal one, two, three. Did he eat more than one? Yeah, he ate two. Is there more than one left? Yeah, there's three. So we did what it told us. We followed the rules from the word problem. He could eat three. That's more than one. So we could take away three that he ate, and there'll be two cookies left over. Did he eat more than one? Yes, he ate three. Is there more than one left? Yes, there's two left. If we tried any other subtraction problems, it wouldn't satisfy what the word problem wants. We have to make sure he eats more than one cookie, but has more than one cookie left. So he can't eat one and have one left either way. So these work, see? It makes this word problem true. So we've learned that we can use counters to subtract. If we have four counters and we take away one, we can just move it aside and see that now we have one, two, three. We can also use dots, can't we? We can have four dots and take one away by crossing it out, and we have one, two, three left. And we can use pictures to subtract show how many fewer or how many more. If you see a picture like this of these ladybugs, there's four ladybugs, and it's showing one flying away. We know that's four minus one, and it leaves three. We can see how it can show how many fewer or how many more. If there's one, two, three, four, five ladybugs and two bees, we can see that there's one, two, three more ladybugs than there are bees. We can also see that there are three fewer bees. See? And we can use numbers and symbols to subtract. Four minus one equals three. The four, the one, and the three are the numbers, 
and the symbols are minus n is equal to. The 4 is the minuend, the 1 is the subtrahen, it's the amount being taken away, and the 3 is the difference, it's the answer. And we can write it going down, 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. We can find missing numbers. Here we have a bag. It tells us there's eight cookies in all, but I only see three. One, two, three. So how many cookies are in the bag? For there to be eight cookies in all, there must be some missing that are in the bag. We can either draw more cookies so that we have eight, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then count the ones we drew, one, two, three, four, five. That means five cookies must be in that bag. We could also do eight minus three. That equals five. So we know there's five cookies in the bag for there to be eight cookies in all. It says there's ten crayons in all. But I only see one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many must be in the box? We can draw some sticks to be the rest of the crayons. We've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That means four crayons must be in that box. We can also do ten minus six. The ten crayons in all minus the six we see. That equals four. There must be four crayons in the box. Our next lesson is add in any order. It's lesson 3.1. That'll be chapter 3, lesson 1. So we're going to stop talking about subtraction for a little while. We're going to talk about some addition. I'll see you next video. I hope you're having a great day. Bye.